What is Gucci, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to make a video today about Swift and how to pass information from one controller to another. This can be done using delegation. Now, don't get scared by that big term. It actually is just saying you need to use delegates in Swift. Let's get started. I'm going to start at the create a new iOS project page and we're going to make a new project. I'm going to call it delegation and I'm going to make it in Swift. I'm going to include tests you don't need to and then I'm going to hit create. Okay so we've got our basic project here. The first thing I'm going to go to here is I'm going to go to my view controller and for this assignment we're going to want a table view controller and I'm going to make this very easy by subclassing this view controller and making it a UI table view controller. Hopefully I don't lose anything. Okay, so once I've subclassed that, I need to also subclass the two delegate methods that the table view uses. And that is number of rows and cell for row at index path. I need to find number of rows, number of rows in section, okay? So what we're gonna do now is make an array and we're gonna call it items. And this table view is going to be a string array. And I'm going to initialize an empty string array by putting string in boxes and initializing it with parentheses. Then I'm gonna make sure the table view returns the the table view number of rows and section method returns the count of the items and that the self for row index path returns a string that is at that index in the items array. So right now we're not going to do anything very clever. We're not going to use um, cell.textlabel.text equals items and then we're going to get the index path dot row so if you want to know what row your table view is currently on all you must do is look at the index path which is a class of NX index pass and get the dot row and then you can simply do that also you need to add override to your methods as the compiler is telling me to do nicely right here. And I can change this cell to a let function, okay? So since my array is empty, my table will show no items. And that's okay. So now we need a way of adding items to this table. And what we wanna do here is we're gonna have a button at, we're gonna have a button at the top right for the user to click, and that will bring up another view controller where they can type in their note or message they want to add to this view controller. And then through delegation, which I'll show you guys, we are going to be able to do that. Okay? So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to create a new file. And this is going to be where our delegation comes in. And I'm going to call it my add text delegate. And so now this this is not actually called a delegate, it's called a protocol in Swift. That's actually the name of the type. And so we're going to make a protocol and we can call that the add text delegate with the A capitalized. I know I didn't capitalize the A in the file, but I should have. And so now this protocol is going to contain our methods of communication between the two view controllers, the one view controller of our table and the other view controller that basically is our text entering mechanism, okay? So we're gonna basically, the method here is gonna be called func write to uh, list and I'll have it take a string. We'll call it string and I'll have it take a string. And with protocols, we just define method headers. We define methods and it's up to our classes to implement the protocols, but by by, by implementing protocols, we're kind of making an agreement. So we're saying anyone that uses this protocol, 
I know implements this method. That way, both of these classes will be able to talk to each other because they will both operate, they will both know about the add text delegate. They will know about them in slightly different ways, which allows them to communicate, but that will become clear when we finish this tutorial. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do, go back here, is we're going to implement this delegate. And we're going to do this by going up to the class and adding a comma. Okay? You can only subclass one class, but you can have as many delegates as you want. And I'm getting an error right here saying I do not conform to the delegate. And that is true. So let's conform to that. So I'm going to write my function, write to list, right here on line 25. And simply, what we're going to do here is I'm going to do items.append str. Okay? So whatever string I get appended, is simply is going to be added to the list. And then I'm also going to self.table self.reload. We're going to take the table view and reload the data. So I'm going to append an item and then reload the data so the user sees that newly reloaded data. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to create a new view controller. I'm going to do this by creating a new file again. And I will make this a Coco class. And it will subclass UI view controller. And this will be my add text view controller. And it doesn't matter where we put it. Actually, it does. Put it in the class. So we will have a classic view did load function. And... Instead of UI Coco, we want to do view did load. Just like in this control here. I'm going to copy these two methods because we're going to need them. We don't need them in our view controller, but it's always nice to have a view did load and did receive memory warning because that's the basics. You really don't need did receive memory warning, though. That doesn't happen much. Okay. Now, in this view controller, we need to do something very important. Instead of making a method or conforming to this delegate, the protocol, we need to create our own variable called var delegate, and this is going to be a type of add text delegate. It's also going to be an optional because it may not be set. So that's that's really interesting, right? So what we're going to do here is, since we have a variable to delegate. Okay, it's this variable needs to be assigned when we load the add text view controller, and then we can, and then when let's let me make a funk that says um text entered. Once we enter the text when we design the UI, we can call the delegate. Oops, I I. Did not close the parentheses correctly. We can call the delegate and I can call write to list. And then if I have a string, which I will once I know what I've entered in the text box, that delegate will know which protocol it conforms to, which class is protocol. So let's say I had a different view controller. Well, when let me go back to my view controller here. When I simply load the add text view controller and make, I will assign its delegate to be the view controllers, to be the view controller. And by doing the so, this is very smart. We, it will know which method to listen to. It will know to follow this write to list method. So then it will have my view controller and do the appropriate steps that I've written for it. So this way it, the view controller knows what to do when something is written to it and the add text view controller can get other, can get any other view controller as long as it has an add to it, it, it corresponds to the add text delegate, and then it will perform its operation. So if I made another view controller, I could simply override or write my own write to list method, do whatever I want with it, maybe add a pop-up, and then simply pass it in to add view controller, and it would work. It's that simple. We will finish this tutorial up in the next video where I will make an actual implementation fully working.
and explain everything in more detail. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.